You know, it's eighth, I'm in eighth grade at Dory Middle School in Spring, Texas. And it's career day. And so we're in the classroom and there's a gentleman and he's asking all of us, do y'all know what you wanna be when you grow up? And I'm all excited, I'm raising my hand. Yeah, yeah, me, me, me. And he goes, okay, young lady, what do you wanna be when you grow up? With a little sass, I say, an entrepreneur. He says, okay, <laughs> can you spell that? And I said, yes, E-N-T-R-E-P-R-E-N-E-U-E-R. -E 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 and he said, oh, well, young lady, you really know what you wanna be when you grow up. And so I knew I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I watched my parents when I was younger struggle. And I knew I didn't wanna struggle. I grew up in a middle-class household. My mother worked for a very popular computer company as a buyer. And my dad, he was a blue collar worker for one of the top oil and gas water tank cleaning companies called Brown and Root. And I also recall at one point they had got laid off three months apart from each other. And my dad was just a couple of months from retiring. It devastated him. It devastated him and it disrupted our family. And I knew that I didn't want to give up any kind of control like that in my household when I grew up. And I definitely didn't want anybody to be in control of how things went on in my home and in my family. Oh, my God.